Proteins, the body's building blocks. Normally, we talk about proteins as an important part of our diet and as a supplement to strengthen the muscles in our body. But these small molecules play a vital role in the next quantum leap in modern medical research. In fact, they will be the focal point for the next generation treatment of most, if not all, diseases. Proteins are the machines and workhorses in our body. The protein hemoglobin makes it possible for us to breathe air into our lungs and transport the oxygen through the bloodstream to all the cells in our body, including our muscles so we can move. Immune system antibodies that defend our body against bacteria and external attacks are also proteins. But what happens when the attacks come from within? from hereditary errors in our genes, or from the environment or habits in our daily lives. Suddenly, the proteins begin to carry out wrong tasks that damage and alter our DNA and lead to life-threatening diseases such as cancer, diabetes, heart failure, and neurological diseases. Because of this, scientists and drug developers have been studying proteins for decades. But the sheer number of proteins, including their variants and modifications, has limited the research and prevented science from solving the most complex and deadly diseases. But recent breakthroughs in technology have made it possible to analyze in depth the very nature of proteins from a 360-degree perspective. The large-scale study of proteins, also called proteomics, is important to overcome the limitations of protein research. Proteomics has the promise that it looks at all the proteins all at once. That's how proteomics will change research in general and drug discovery in particular. Protein researchers in Copenhagen are driven by a Klondike treasure hunting spirit with a common aim to dig deeper into the basic mechanisms of how our bodies work and why these mechanisms sometimes fail and lead to disease. They hope to find new veins of gold in the human genome with biomarkers for future treatment of various diseases. We are a Blue Sky Research Center which allows us to look at proteins from all possible angles. For example, we have recently performed the deepest sequencing ever of the human proteome in a single cell and defined it to more than 14,000 different proteins. We use latest state-of-the-art advanced mass spectrometers to understand function of proteins in cell. And right now, with such sophisticated instruments, we are in a position to measure tens of thousands of proteins in cells and their dynamic changes in disease states such as cancers or diabetes. The deep sequencing has helped the researchers map the intricate network of proteins, their connections, and the exact function of specific proteins. But they go further. They even try to understand how the proteins communicate, the language of proteins. The communication between proteins determines the development of many diseases. For instance, proteins work together in repairing damaged DNA helices that can otherwise cause cancer. By uncovering these protein signaling interactions, we can develop new drugs that boost these repair proteins and prevent cancer from developing. The findings in protein signaling are matched with large data banks collected in the Danish population. Highly advanced supercomputers compare data from the research with data gathered from people in the Danish population. Many proteins they presumably have many more functions than we know today. They are doing several things. They can be involved in more than one disease or several traits. And uh, what we really are interested in is to match up the molecular world with the clinical world. After studying a specific protein that plays an important role in disease development, the researchers use Nobel Prize winning microscopes with extreme high definition images and 3D computer models to visualize the structure of the protein. 
When we know the structure of a protein, we can identify potential cavities in the protein for which we could design peptides that fit into those particular cavities, uh, almost like a key in a lock to you know, open and control uh, the proteins. And by designing the right drugs, uh, we can modify potentially the entire protein either by uh, switching it off or by turning on other proteins uh, to stop the disease development. In the last decades, science has uncovered the human genome. Now we are exploring the vast possibilities in the human proteome. The proteomic revolution has just begun. Well, I think what is the most exciting at the moment are the analytical possibilities which we have in the protein domain. We can do things which we couldn't even dream of 10 years ago. And we realize that we are basically only scratching the surface. And this is very motivating because these discoveries, they will make a difference in treatments of diseases.